I'm Sergeant Emberton, and this is the Hip Repel Seat. The Hip Repel Seat is used in Aerosol and Repel Master School. First, we will talk about our brake hand. If you are right hand dominant, your right hand will be your brake hand. If you are left hand dominant, your left hand will be your brake hand. I will be tying the seat as a right handed repeller. The first thing we will do is take our two ropes and marry them together. This will fold the rope in half. Now, we will find the middle of the rope. When you find the middle of the rope, you will create a three to five inch bite on your non brake hand side and extend your arm. First, you will bring that three to five inch bite to your side. Now, you will extend the ropes on both sides of your body. After doing this, you will now tie a double overhand lay. You will tie a double overhand lay by taking the end of the rope and placing it through the loop two times. After you have tied your double overhand lay, you will tighten it at your navel and let the ropes fall in front of you. Now you will reach behind and through your legs, grabbing both ropes at the highest point possible. You will take these two ends of the rope and route them from sky to ground towards your spine to create two half hitches on the waist rope. Now that your hip propel seat is tight, you will bring the ropes in front of you and tie a square knot on your non brake hand side. You will tie a square knot by going left over right and then right over left. Once you have tied your square knot, you will now tie two overhand knots on each side of the square knot. After you tie your overhand knots, you will now place those ropes in your pocket. After you have placed those ropes in your pocket, you will now secure your carabiner. With your carabiner fully unlocked and opened, you will bring it close to your body and around all three ropes. Once the carabiner is around all three ropes, you will now rotate it to where the locking gate is facing you and leave it open. You have now tied your hip propel seat. Test standards. The hip propel seat is tied in 90 seconds or less. Now, some things that will get you no-goes. Your carabiner, it has to be around all ropes. Your carabiner will not be through the overhand lay. Your overhand lay will be above your belt. You will have a proper overhand lay and you will count five high points. One, two, three, four, five. This ensures that you have a proper overhand lay. You will ensure that your carabiner does not touch your square knot. Now, you will ensure that you have a proper square knot. You will also ensure that you have two proper overhand knots. It's important that your overhand knots are not tied to both ropes or tied behind your half hitch. Your ropes need to be in your pocket. Next, we will ensure that your leg ropes are not crossed. Lastly, you will ensure that you have two proper half hitches. You will do this by running your thumbs up on the waist rope and finding a locking bar. Next, you will ensure that your leg ropes are not too close by placing a fist at the small of your back and ensuring that your half hitches are farther than a fist. Lastly, as a performance measure, you should always ensure that there is no equipment on your brake hand side. This concludes my class on hip propel seat.